Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. Today we are flying out the MiG-29 A12A over here, uh, live commentary, but I wanted to talk about a specific thing while we fly, so let's just put the aircraft into a climb, I want to do some BVR, uh, so yeah. Um, I wanted to talk about the SU-27 guys, there are some a, a lot of leaks, it's so funny that uh, on the first week of devlogs i mean literally on the first day that the devlog started it out of nowhere like 50 leaks appeared it's it's quite amusing to be honest right and a lot of them are asking uh, they're basically asking for aircraft or vehicles in general right it's just a uh, kind of an idea of what the community actually wants uh gaijin should actually pay attention to that because all of these people are talking about vehicles that they want. So I saw even like the A4M, which is basically in the game right now with these Israelis, right? But a lot of them are very new and fourth generation aircraft, like the F-15, like even the Gripen, and of course the SU-27. And the SU-27, we had kind of another leak, as you see on the screen right now, that people were actually... Um, you know, asking me even to do a video about it. Oh my gosh, talk, talk about the leak, about the... About the... Oh, that guy is it's turning. I'm probably gonna die. I need to fire these missiles. Mm. Hold up. No, come on. Lock the other guy, Raider. This is probably a missile. I just cannot get a lock. Uh, it's trying to lock other targets. This is a very bad shot, actually. But um, the thing about this is that people actually forget how good the SU-27 is. And it's been a, a kind of a talk in the channel, in the Discord, in the forums for a very long time. Um, kind of an idea that hopefully I don't die over here. I need to do more notches and crankies. Just cranks, actually, because I don't have the, the ability to do the notch while I try to maintain a lock. Uh, but the thing is that people just forget how good the SU-27 would be for the meta. I'm not even talking about real life. Let's just... Oh my god, I lost luck. Let's just forget about that line of thinking a little bit. It's more of a problem to the meta of the game. Why? Well, because it would be basically a super MiG-29. Uh, the MiG-29 was actually used for a different purpose than the SU-27. It was meant to be faster uh, in a takeoff position. It was supposed to be a point of fence, you know, so it would be an interceptor, a light interceptor, if you will, for short ranges. And SU-27 was going to be basically, or it was used as a larger range interceptor while being a major fighter as well, heavy fighter, even if you will, just like the F-15 was, right? And there is where the problem begins. Um, in the game, that fast kind of situation of takeoff and stuff, it wouldn't matter too much. You know, of course it would matter in a sense of just the way... Oh, come on, the missile went for the freaking other missile. Um, of course it would matter. Uh, it would be a little bit slower. But the thing is that the tiny bit slower that it is... It would compensate on the amount of missiles having basically the same performance in everything else and even better in certain uh, situations. So, yes, even if an F-15 comes, guys, I don't think we need the SU-27. Even with an F-15. Yes, people would get mad at me. People, like me, they will... My god, the missile passed like right next to me uh people will really get mad at me by saying this uh because it's funny i talk about uh, i try to be realistic and talk about uh, like american aircraft and missiles and stuff and then people get mad at me because i'm talking about a certain like talking bad about a certain aircraft that it's american so i'm russian biased and then i talk about uh, a russian aircraft at the same time about the same type of way in the same type of way and people say i'm against the russians and against like Amer i'm american biased if you will so uh, yeah people are funny to say the least but come on and yeah 
I think that guy was already kind of nice. But a DS-227 is a point that I have to make, man. Um, only if we actually have an F-15 that is from the late 80s, early 90s, maybe with MRAMs, the SU-27 wouldn't be OP. And it, of course, obviously, if the F-15 is added, it would be a perfect counter to the SU-27, even it's er in its early variants. But it will always come down to the R-27s. You know, the R-27 is an amazing missile. It really is, guys. And people underestimate it uh, a little bit because the MiG-29 only has two, so you kind of don't feel it. But if you really pay attention, you will see that the main missile for the MiG-29 is the R-27. Uh, because the R-60 is a missile that is very easily defeat, defeated, right? You know how it is. It is a missile that likes to chew on a flare, right? And the R-27, even with the T variant, it doesn't have that. And an aircraft that can receive at least six of them, while actually carrying four more IR missiles, being those four IR missiles, um, be oh my god, I don't have fuel. Um, being R-60Ms or R-73s, and don't get me started on the R-60M was never used in the SU-27. It was in training and stuff. It wasn't the main missile of the aircraft, obviously, but it was used for training and other purposes. I need to go back to the base, just uh, to the to do other purposes. So don't get me started on that because a lot of people think that they never used the R-60Ms. That yeah, it was actually able to use the R-60Ms. It was just never used in combat or uh, in a like train uh, like a combat ready scenario would be like right but and of course we have the other thing that is just that the su-27 is an aircraft that would not only receive probably the r27rs and t's but also the er's and et's with a much much better radar larger antenna that has more than 100 kilometers of range and if you get the aircraft into the right position it would have basically 80, 90 kilometers of range, even more depending on the situation on the missile. Uh, of course, it's not, I mean, it's still not an active missile. Uh, it's problematic to be used in certain situations. Uh, you need to maintain the lock. Of course, it would have the same technology in blind speeds and stuff as the MiG-29, so it would be notchable. It's not a, a PESA or a ESA radar yet or anything like that, but it would be incredibly better in the BVR the part while having an amazing performance in everything else. So, yeah, and the F-15, although I really think that in performance and everything else, in m 9 and stuff, it would be kind of on par, depending if they add the R-73 or not to it, uh, to the SU-27, right? And I don't think they will, at first at least. Um, the m 9s could handle a little bit, you know, but not really, but it could, with the M and stuff. Uh, the Sparrows would be the main problem. The Sparrows are a missile that... It, it is a good missile. It's an amazing missile. But it is that old saying, you know, it's it's limited. The range of the Sparrow is very, very limited due to the Seeker head. That although it is supposed to be better than the R-27 ones, uh, it doesn't have until the later variants. Um, INS or Data Link or anything like that that could increase the range for more than 45 kilometers. So what it means is that in the BVR arena, the F-15 would still get stomped even by a MiG-29. And yes, BVR isn't the main, maybe, point of the game, but I think people just underestimate how good a MiG-29 is with just two R-27s. And even if you don't use it in a BVR situation, imagine what an aircraft can do with six of those. So... If you are expecting the SU-27, and I am doing a video about expectations and stuff for the patch, don't expect it. I, I, I would be, like, I would be so, so excited, but at the same time, so, so surprised if the SU-27 is added. If the, even if the F-15 is added, I still think that um, a lot of aircraft will come this year, including these two, but I don't think it will come in this update. Hopefully, I don't get proved wrong by a devlog coming today, on Saturday, because I am recording this video on Friday night, 
and like they did in last in the, in the last patch, I'm a f I'm I'm scared that they will just add an F14B out of nowhere, like they did in a Saturday, I think, in la in the last patch. So hopefully they don't do this. They don't do that yet, at least, because that would be very very counterproductive, co counter like productive to my job here, right? <laughs> But yeah, guys, basically this is it. Don't expect anything like that. And I lost so much speed over here. I almost died just because of that. Um, expect aircraft to come. And I do think that we will see some fourth generations. But the SU-27 in particular, it's an aircraft that you don't want to see right now in the game. Even as a Soviet, technically a Soviet. I mean, I have all the nations, but... I I mean I like to fly MiGs and I prefer to fly MiGs than anything else. Um, so I consider myself a little bit of a, a Soviet main. If you know me, you know that I love playing with MiGs. But even being like this, I mean we don't need the SU-27, and I kind of expect to not be at it because it would break the game a lot, especially if they add the R-73 to it, which I don't think they will even to the MiG-29 right now. Uh, but you never know, right? The missile is in the game already. Like, I don't know. Maybe they will do some crazy stuff with this, with it. But yeah, guys. Basically, this is it. Let's see if we, if we find the last guy. I think he'll probably just land and jump. Um, yeah, but while we do that, leave it in the comments what you think. Do you think the SU-27 is coming? Do you think the SU-27 could come right now without breaking the game? Um, because a lot of people don't seem to realize, even if you don't do BVR what six R27s can do, even if it's the normal one, even if they add only four R60s to it, and then six normal R27Rs, it would still outrange the Sparrows, just because of the way that the Sparrows are. But let's wait and see, right? Let's try to find the last guy, and I'll be right back. Hopefully the, he's not hiding somewhere. Everybody's just using weird, uh, wa not wagers, uh, orders. I see a target there. I have a feeling that that is the enemy. And I think it's a MiG-29. He probably shot on that F-14. Um, F-104, sorry. Yeah, that guy is definitely the... Yeah, see? The missile is going for that target. And he is the the target. Yeah, he went cold, so mm, we don't have the range yet. But I want to actually fire the missile. He's probably just no. The F one hundred four just turned away. Let me fire one missile over here, just to make sure. Even though he's going cold, man. Uh, this missile will probably explode in the air. This guy's really scared. I mean, we are pushing on him with like three aircraft. Or two at least. The missile is going, but it will never hit. Yeah, he thinks I lost the lock. That's actually pretty funny. Let me wait for him to actually climb. I changed the lock, fired the missile. Oh no. Yes, I got him. Oh my god, I'm gonna crash. Oh my god, I almost died. Yeah, that was a good engagement. That was a good engagement. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> he fell for it. But yeah. Anyway, I see you guys on the next one, and bye guys, see you.